Shalom, Akim. I give all praise and honor to the Most High, the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you brothers out there defending the gospel. And this is, I, I meant to bring these two scriptures out in the last video, but they slipped my mind and I was just thinking about them. This is pretty much my last little piece, you know, on this situation. Um, and I just wanted to, the scripture popped in my head a few minutes ago and I was like, damn, this fits perfectly this whole situation. When you look at it through the eyes and the perspective of the men specifically whom he hurt, you know, this this guy Izar, all right. When you, you look at the brothers that he pretty much flipped out on in his camp, all right, and then going up to the head, up to to one of the heads at El Gabar, and how he flipped out on him. Looking at it from their perspective, let's read the scripture real quick. This is going to be a very quick video. This is Psalms 55 and 12. It says. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it, neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him, but it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide and mine acquaintance, we took sweet counsel together, and walked unto the house of the Most High in company. So pretty much David is speaking, he's saying, look man, we broke bread together, we rolled together, alright? You look at it through this, the perspective of the men in 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 the in the GMS Boston camp, all right, the elders up there in New York and in the New York camp. We went out there to war together. We was out there in the elements together. We was cursing out the enemy, the so the so-called white man together. We was edifying Israel together, all right, out there building the house of Israel, all right, that spiritual house. And then you gonna go and do this? This is how this is how the game. What kind, what part of the game is this? All right, it's like that old uh, uh, going back to uh, um, Julius Caesar when he got assassinated. He looked up. And he said, "A two Brute, y you too, Brutus, for real." Look, I'm I'm getting assassinated. And I look up and it's my homie who's supposed to be my homie. This right there with a dagger in his hand. So come on. That's, some, that's that's just some real wicked and that, and that betrayal that's not a good feeling when you when you get betrayed that is a horrible feeling all right it's a real horrible can be a lonely feeling all right it's pretty much flat out not a good feeling okay and because you opened your mouth and said everything that you said against those brothers now even if you had an inkling of wanting to come back into GMS guess what you're not welcome all right because check this out. Proverbs 18 and 19 A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city and their contentions are like the bars of a castle so all the stuff that you said against those men who you came up with all right who you rolled with who, who went to, to bat for you all right who treated you like a brother guess what we're not the ones that say that you're out of the truth this is only for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to decide but I guarantee you, you're not welcome back in those camps. All right, I guarantee you, they won't welcome you back with open arms after all the madness you said. You said way too much, my man. With that, shalom to the brothers out there. Peace and blessings to the elect.